And welcome back. A foster mom avoids prison for a child homicide. But Lisa Jo Vanderlinden, who we, we will still have to serve a year in the Duchesne County Jail, she was sentenced today after admitting to causing the death of a three-year-old foster child. For every crime, there's a story in The Truth Matters. Here's ABC4 Senior Crime and Punishment Correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. It was an emotional day in a Duchesne County courtroom. On one side, the biological mother demanding justice. On the other side, Lisa Jo Vanderlinden pleading for mercy. I'm sorry to the biological family. I'm sorry to my family. And I'm sorry that I just didn't or couldn't do more that night. It's the first time Lisa Jo Vanderlinden speaks publicly about a moment in time that changes many lives. Two years ago, a toddler in Vanderlinden's care dies from injuries caused by physical abuse. She's charged with murder, but earlier this year, she accepts a plea bargain and hopes for probation. At her sentencing in Duchesne County, the two-year-old's biological mother talks of the void in her life. I miss my son very much, and I love my son very much. This is what I will miss. His birthday, holidays, and his smile. I miss him singing with me. Up until his death, the biological mother is still part of her son's life. Vanderlyn, the foster mom, plans to adopt him. I loved him as if he was my own. He was going to be mine. I lost my son that, that day to him. According to the autopsy, the two-year-old dies from multiple injuries to his head and body over a period of time. The prosecutor says Vander Linden to this day refuses to admit to those injuries. She claims it's the night before his death where she went wrong. And if I would have known that there was something more going on with his vomiting that night, I would have taken him to the doctor. <laughs> Her attorney says Vander Linden is only guilty of being reckless, not murder. He says there's never any problems with the 40 children she fosters in the past. Four children she was fostering at the time are taken away from her. I've already lost everything and I just want this little piece to be able to go home. But it wasn't to be. The judge spared her from going to prison, but he sentenced Vanderlinden to one year in the Duchesne County Jail. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.